Uh, the man of the hour, Ryan Jardine. Jards, uh, I was told by some of the guys that this year you were voted, voted oldest looking guy on the team for the third straight year. How do you feel about that? We're here running. I feel uh, it's quite an honor to be look older than Greener actually feels because he's substantially older than I am. Him and his wife are in the retirement home. Or something. <laughs> I saw last time we were playing here, they had a handicap stall set up for you over here. What happened? Uh, I think what they misunderstood is uh, how fast I am, so they wanted to slow me down a bit. Slow, bring you down to their level. I understand that. All right, well, thanks, George. Have a good skate out there, buddy. Okay, we're here with Coach Hillman after the Monday skate. Coach, was it a good practice? You know, a uh, good workout for the guys. It's... Uh... It's a long bus trip, and it's good to get in here, uh, get a little breakfast. We went over to the Cracker Barrel, had a real good breakfast. A few guys had steak and eggs, and uh, ready to go. So over to the uh, old rink here, and we just uh, on a travel day like this or a travel night, it's good just to get out there for about 30 minutes and, and get the legs ready and touch the pucks quite a bit. Use our hands a lot, and we just really loosen up before we uh, spend the rest of the afternoon preparing for the game. After a big win in Game 5, are you going to change much for Game 6 now that you're in the Comets building? No, it, not too much changes. We've, we've been up and down throughout this series and uh, not always playing our best hockey when we won the games here and uh, not always playing our worst hockey when we lost the first couple of games at home. But uh, the way we played in the third period of Game 4, the way we played in the first overtime of Game 4, the way we played in the first period of Game 5 is the type of hockey we want to play in Game 6. And, and if we're able to do that, we don't believe it'll be a Game 6. All right, well, good luck, Coach. Thanks. Thanks, guys. All right, we're here with Brandon Smith. Brandon just got in from a long bus ride, going to get a skate in here on Monday and then uh, get ready for Game 6 on Tuesday. Talk to us a little bit about that win on uh, Saturday night for the Mavericks. Uh, it was a big one for us. We were um, obviously having that two nothing lead and losing games three and four. Uh, it was it was a must win, and uh, it was nice that when our team needed to dig out and, and pull it out like that, we could find a way to do it. You got a goal in that game, a pretty big goal. Talk to, talk us through that play. Um, I uh, I was coming up the ice. I was able to get a cross ice pass to Chris Hogg. He did a good job supporting me, getting on a level where I could, you know, um, he, he wasn't too far off where I could actually hit him on an even plane. Him and Jards drove the net. Um, Jards ended up missing the net, but the rebound came back to the side. Uh, those quick hands I have, I pulled it out from behind and, and, and tucked it in. And uh, as soon as it went in, I got smoked on the wall, but it was all worth it. So Awesome. Now you're here for game six with a chance to eliminate the Comets. What's the focus of the team, and what are you guys going to try to do here in their barn? Um, we just need to play our game. Um, they're obviously a really good team, but uh, you know we feel that if, if, if we stick to the things that uh, have got us here and made us successful, it's just you know that, uh, the hard work, attitude, and, and, and being smart and disciplined in our systems. Um, we think we can uh, still game six. Awesome. Thanks, Brandon. Absolutely. We're here with uh, Patrick Schaefer and John Scott Dixon getting ready for our practice before game six in Port Wayne. Schaefer, you're the man. What school did you go to? The Ohio State University. Uh, uh, well, why do you call it the Ohio State University? You know, because it's a really classy school with a high education. Okay. John Scott, what did you go to? Uh, university of New Brunswick, and it's the University of New Brunswick. The. 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 It's proper English, the. The. All right, Schaefer, um, we're trying to get some tips for guys next year that's a recruiting video. Um, what is the best way to get into the training room and get Wes's uh, attention? Well, you know, I think the first thing is you got to be like uh, like David Smalls. You know, you got to ask to have your locker set up in the training room so you can become friends. And then you try and bring other people in. You know, you recruited me, gave me the nickname Flower, bringing guys like Dix, other people like that. Why do guys say that pedals fall off you? What does that mean? I don't know. I think it's just uh, a way for them to feel like they're as tough as me. You know, try and bring me down to their level a little bit. Okay. You, uh, you last game you got, you tried to get the get out of the way of a shot and it accidentally hit you. Are you all right from that? Yeah, I might pull a page out of John Scott's book and grab some uh, ankle protectors. You know, for my skates. But you try to get out of the way of those shots and they just accidentally hit you. So why would you need that? 
Well, just in case they, you know, they hit me, and uh, I think for you, you might need a full, sh full shield in case you fall onto the boards face first again. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, that's good for uh, Thanks, Patrick David. Schaefer. Thanks, David. Have a good practice, bud.